What's going on, you lovely people? It's your boy, Roll the Queen. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. Fuck all that usual shit I would say right now. Let's just jump right in. And yeah, you guys are seeing my face in this video because I think it's important for you guys to see me face to face for this particular video. So I had a very interesting weekend. Um, let's give you guys some context. So Wonder Woman issue one came out Tuesday. I wasn't able to make it to my shop until Thursday. But in between that time, I did buy Wonder Woman issue one digitally. And I, I thought it was awesome. I think Tom King and Daniel Sampier and, you know, Tommy Morrow, uh, they, they got something great here. And I'm excited to see where the rest of the run goes. So I got my copy and I do what I do once in a blue moon when I get a comic book or just comics that I really enjoy. I do some ridiculous out-of-pocket shit like this. Listen, I got the condoms on there. I got the lube. I got the Vaseline. This is crazy. It's nuts. It's bonkers. But again, I've done this for male characters. Listen, the, the point is, this is equal opportunity thirst on this channel and this equal opportunity thirst on my account. I don't discriminate. If I like your comic book, if I like your character, they, they get in something like this at some point in time. And I'm going to put this out here too. Um, Tom King and Daniel Semper actually liked the tweet. Let's put an asterisk there because we're going to come back to that. So once the tweet first launched, um, it was just my friends, you know, people who I, I know and love, uh, just telling me, Ro, you're stupid, you know, just clowning me. It's uh, typical shit, you know. M my followers, aka a lot of them being my friends, they know what type of time I'm on. Um, this wasn't on no misogynistic bullshit or, or whatnot. Like I said before, Tom King and Peter and Daniel Sunpair liked the tweet, right? Initially, I was fine, but I think when they liked it, it repopulated on other people's timelines. You guys know how Twitter goes. So Thursday, I was fine. Friday, I was fucked. <laughs> I was fucked. Uh, it landed on the timelines of people that I like to call thumb suckers. What is a thumb sucker? A thumb sucker is somebody between the ages of 13 and about 20, 21. And these people are very active on Twitter. They're very loud. They're very, very ambunctious. You know, they're the ones that's hopping in creative mentions and their DMs talking about, oh, I want this character here. I want them now. Where is this character? How come this book doesn't have an, uh, how come this character doesn't have an ongoing? Where is their series in body, blah, blah, blah. It's Friday. My mentions are in shambles. And I proceeded to make a follow-up video, which you can go and find. I'm not going to play it, but um, you, you can you can find this tweet and you'll see the video. Long story short, I said, listen, I spent my hard-earned money on Wonder Woman 1. I spent my hard-earned money on comic books in general. You know, you guys can actually see Wonder Woman 1 here. You know, th this ain't no bullshit. I, I bought it. And it is my belief that once you buy a product, a physical product, once you buy that, that is yours. That is yours to do whatever the fuck you want with it. It's yours. You know, Green Arrow is coming back after, like, being gone for, like, three months. When the Green Arrow comes back, I am a Green Arrow fan. I've missed Ollie. I'm going crazy when I get that issue in my hands. Why? Because I bought that. It is mine. It is mine to do whatever I want with. So, you know, that just set things off even more. And, you know, in between that time, uh, a lot of people were camping in Tom King's mentions and were camping in Daniel Sampier's mentions. So much so that we are now here where Daniel Sampier made a statement. Um, you know, I'm not going to read it. Uh, you, you can go find the tweet and read it yourselves. Uh, but I think the part that really got me here was, you know, the line about misogyny. Now, listen, was the was the photo wild? Yeah. Was the photo crazy? Of course. Was it out of pocket? Sure. Uh, in my honest opinion, I don't believe it was misogynistic. It was, I do this for all characters, but I can understand, I can understand how, you know, if you're seeing this without context of my account or just my personality, it could come off a certain way. I'm not going to take the photo down. As you can see, the photo's still up. I'm not going to take it down. I'm not going to apologize for putting it up there because again, it's my shit. But I understand. I, I I understand. As all this is going on, too, you know, I decided to challenge. I decided to challenge the thumb suckers or that section of comic book Twitter. Everybody that I can find their post about my post, I said, well, why don't you post a, a picture of you holding up Wonder Woman issue one? 
if you really have that big of an issue, that's fine. But if you want to come and attack me on their behalf, their meaning Tom King, Daniel Sampier, and if you want to come attack me on the behalf of Wonder Woman, is it is it too crazy to think that you bought an issue also, whether have been digitally or physical? Is, is, is that not crazy to think? So any account that I could find, I told him, okay, you have five minutes from me responding to you to post a picture showing proof of purchase of Wonder Woman 1. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been, what is it? I posted this tweet on Thursday. It is now Sunday. Not one of those accounts have posted proof of purchase of Wonder Woman issue one. So by that logic, I am not going to take any of that seriously. I'm not taking anything seriously. You, you, these people have been camping in my mentions. Nobody has shown me proof of purchase. I am not taking this seriously. I don't care how offended you guys are. I don't care how offended you know people have been. I'm not taking this seriously. These people are telling me they wanted me off. They wanted me to off myself. These people are going crazy. But again, you will think with that big of a reaction, these people are actually on the ground, boots to the ground, taking time out of their day, spending their hard-earned money to buy Wonder Woman 1 or just buy comic books in general. They did not. I'll end the video by saying this. I'll end the video by saying this. This section of comic book Twitter, regardless of you know what I did to piss them off this weekend, you guys are some of the most entitled, spoiled brats ever. You guys don't support comic books. You don't support comic books. I know what you guys do. We all know what you guys do. There's been plenty of other comic book YouTubers, and I think creators have even mentioned it themselves. You guys don't go out to your local comic book shops, which could, which could also use the money. You guys don't support the comic book shops. You guys don't support creatives. You wait until I don't know who posts the scans on readcomicbooks.com. And then you take those scans, you post it on Twitter, and then you get a shit ton of engagement. The follows, you get the likes, then you have the nerve if something goes wrong in your comic books to be in these creatives' mentions or their DMs talking about, I want this, I want that. That's crazy. That's nuts. You guys are leeches. You guys are entitled. You guys are one of the many reasons why the comic book industry is in the state that it's in. You guys are the reasons why whatever other comic book you guys want. The last time that character was on the shelves, you guys didn't support. You leached. You leached. Then you have the nerve to say, DC, I want this character here. I want this character now. I don't care how wrong this sounds or how bad this sounds. Dawn of DC. Dawn of DC is the first time in a very long time we're seeing a lot of diversity on the line. A lot of diversity. I am not mad at DC for the drought of diversity up until now. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. You guys ask for these characters. You ask for them. You bitch and moan over these characters. And then when DC or whoever decides, hey, they've been asking for this character. Let's give it to them. When they finally put it out, you guys don't support. You don't show up. And then what happens? Book gets canceled. Book gets canceled. They're like, oh, this is wrong. This is this. This is misogynistic. This is this. This is that. The characters who the people do show up for and the ones that you're mad at that they keep getting books. Batman, to an extent, Superman, well, Wonder Woman, they have to keep Wonder Woman in print. Spider-Man, all these characters that I hear so much discourse about, motherfuckers show up for them every single week. And we do the top 200 comic books of the month, every, almost every single month on this channel. We see it. The numbers don't lie. They, they may be from a, a sample size of comic book shops. Don't know the number, but I think maybe it's like 100 to 200. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm, these motherfuckers show up. But again, when it's the characters that you want, the characters that you're in my mentions defending or telling me to off myself for, you know, whatever harm, the characters that you're in these creatives DMs for, you won't do the work. You won't do the work. So like I said, I'm not apologizing for the photo. It's mine. I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. And it is a damn shame that from Thursday to Sunday, not one of you, not one of you were able to show me you guys supported Tom King, Danielle Sampier, and Tommy Morrow by picking up an issue of Wonder Woman 1. Not one of you, not one of you. You guys deflected. Like I said before, I understand why that tweet may be looked at a certain way from people on the outside looking in. But... I can do whatever the fuck I want with my product.
Uh, I bought it. It's mine. If I want to pour alcohol on it, I can. If I want to throw lube on it, I can. I want to do any of the wild shit, I can. It's mine. So it's a little bit of a rant video. Um, and this video is a little longer than usual. Why? Because I think it was important to say. I, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. You know, am I wrong by saying what I'm saying about comic book Twitter or just people on the internet who are not supporting, but they're the loud ones. Am I wrong? Let me know. Am I right? Let me know. If you want to downvote this video, downvote this video to help. Much love, much peace. It's your boy, Rover Queen. I'm out.